Hi everyone, so in this video I'm going to show you how to create a screen button like this that can control the movement of our player and that will be uh, able to work on mobile devices. So let's get started. So first we need the button, so basically what I've done is that I have all those buttons here uh, that are animated and I have a button uh, at the end that is uh, for when the button is pressed and so I have all those animations and I'm going to just like um, export them into uh, my folders in Godot so basically I'm gonna go here I'm gonna go in PNG and so normally I'm just right in my I'm, I'm in the right folder I'd, I'm just gonna create some stuff so I'm gonna say button jump I'm gonna create a new folder and I'm gonna save everything in it and I'm gonna export each one uh, individually so automatically so I'm gonna agree and so we're gonna export all of this uh, individually and I'm gonna do the same for this one I'm gonna say export I'm gonna go here PNG then I'm gonna create a new folder and it's gonna be button left export you can find all those uh, things uh, in, uh, in the description box below uh, that uh, that video so go for it that's the button I've made and used for my game that is called Black Owl that is uh, normally available either soon if you're watching this uh, when I'm releasing it or uh, already done <laughs> already released if you're watching that in the future so basically just PNG and this is button right and so I said what we're gonna do is like we're gonna create it we're gonna create a textured uh, animated texture button so I'm gonna show you how to create that okay this is good this is good normally I've made no mistake and so back in Godot it we're importing everything so that's good and so now basically what we're gonna do is like we have our scene and so we click on level we click on the plus and we go for control no area to the <laughs> today so like we're gonna click on control and then when we are on control we're gonna click the plus and we're gonna look for touch screen button so let's go here and so basically when you are on touch screen button you have three different uh, we have a, a different me menu on the right in the inspector and you have like loads of stuff here but f before that i'm just gonna create three uh, two others touch screen button this one and another one yeah so the first one i'm gonna call it button uh, left then the second one i'm gonna call it button right maybe i should have done the other way but we'll see and then this one i'm gonna call it button jump okay so now basically uh, when we go on our button here we have like normal we click on empty and we're gonna look for new animated texture uh, so button left I have this one and I have how much I have eight uh, eight uh, I have nine um, sprite for the button but I'm gonna use eight a sprite for the animated texture so I'm gonna come here click on animated texture and I'm gonna look for eight uh, frame and this is gonna be very fiddly but uh, that's the only solution I found for now to uh, to make it works uh, with quite of a of a nice uh, what to say uh, for making it looking nice so I come here I slide then I go um so frame zero so that's good so then after that frame one and then frame 2 then I need to go to frame 3 which for me is 4 then frame 5 which for me uh, frame 4 which for me is 5 you see where I'm going with this then after that I need to come here put that one then the frame 6 which is gonna be the 7 for me and the frame 7 which is gonna be the 8 for me and so I'm gonna drag that okay and so here after that I have some other things where is it so th in the FPS you can see that it has 4 and you, here you, you can see it's very slow so I'm just gonna put it at 8 and as you can see the animation is playing smoothly okay so now we're gonna do the same for the button right 
so it's here and so we're gonna click on a new animated texture we click on animated texture then we put eight frame because it's basically the same stuff so i'm just gonna open those uh for uh, for um how to say segment <laughs> i don't know how to say uh okay so here frame one then i just drag all of this i s scroll down a little bit then i continue to slide it then i continue to slide it i told you it's like it's a bit fiddly but then, then after that it looks a bit more like uh, lively you know like so i prefer to do it this way and for now this is the only way i found really like there's some other way or you can create some other texture like you can create an atlas textures and stuff like that but i haven't figured out how to make it works yet so like i don't know i'm just gonna uh, stand on what i know for now for those uh, for, for those tutorial so that's good uh, then we need to do another stuff that i haven't done for the um, the button uh, left so here you have press and so i'm just gonna uh, put uh, an animation that is the um, sprite is going to be different for when we are pressing our button it's just better so i'm just going to go back on my uh, left button right here and i'm just going to scroll down and here you have press and i'm just going to put that one here okay and so now i need to make the last button so this is this is jump and so i'm going to create the animated texture uh, and i'm going to put it at eight open those one like that and so i'm gonna go to jump where is it it's on the top i think i'm just gonna close those folder as well as i am here so okay like this okay so drag and we continue to drag <laughs> but then after that we have finished so that's good so that's good it is good then we continue to open this and we put them there then we scroll down we drag it here here and finally we're gonna make the press one so here it is okay so now i'm just gonna reorganize them a little bit so i just come here because for now they are all at the same um, the same place as you can see so i'm just gonna move i'm gonna move this one and i'm gonna uh, move i think it's gonna be the left one that i'm gonna move i think i'm gonna put it here and so now i just need to uh, adjust it to my um, my um screen so basically i'm gonna there's many ways to do that so the way that i'm doing it is not the only one so make sure that it's not the only one but that's the one that works for me so i'm gonna make it like this so this one i'm gonna put it here like i have here my camera I'm gonna put it here it's just for the sake of this example like if you are uh, doing that for uh uh, video game you already know like the size of your window and stuff you just need to adapt it to that but me i'm just gonna make it this way so i can show you and so you can uh, understand how it works quite quickly so like this and finally we're gonna do the same with button jump uh, i'm just gonna transform it i'm gonna put it at three and three and i'm gonna put it uh, right here okay so now uh, there is one thing that we need to do and that is quite tricky to see is like so when you are on your uh, button so like for example i am on button jump you have uh, your animated texture and, and stuff and here normally where is it it's just right here you have this menu that is like uh, action and here basically what you need to do is to tap uh, the um, input the name of the input that is handling the action that you want to to do here so here for example i want to jump and if i go back in my uh, script in my player i have the jump that is controlled by ui accept so here in my button jump i need to uh, tap ui 
underscore accept and I need to do the same for button right but button right it is UI right that is controlling the movement to the right so I need to put UI right and button left I need to put UI left and now there's one last thing to do is you go I think it's your project setting if I remember well uh, general and then we go to uh, where is it yeah so on input device general so I'm just gonna show you back so project set project project setting you scroll down you go to input device pointing and here you have emulate mouse from touch and emulate touch from mouse so that's what we're gonna go for here because if we are on emulate mouse from touch it's not gonna work and so now if I close I launch the game now I can move the player by touching the button as you can see and he can jump and those kind of things and when you want to put it uh, on for a um, mobile device whatever it's a phone or a tablet what you need to do is go here project setting input uh, no project setting general input device and you need to click that one because if you click that one it will works on the device on mobile device basically that's just what you need to know if I launch the game now it's not gonna work on my uh, Mac you're gonna see you see I can press it doesn't work so that's what you need to know about how to make a touch screen button for your game for making it, for making it uh, mobile friendly so i hope it has been helpful for you if it's the case don't if it, don't hesitate to give a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel uh it's like what it's the seventh episode already of my series about how to make a 2d metroidvania platformer game with godot engine and i'm gonna continue to make more videos so don't hesitate to subscribe uh, share it as well on your social media and stuff send it to your friend if you think that it's like something that can interest them and if you're youtubers that is already making video on Godot but give me a shout out if you like this and stuff because I think <laughs> that video I think I'm one of the uh, first to make a video that is like this I've uh, I think I've seen like a lot of tutorial about Godot engine and I've never seen that uh, subject uh, has been like um, how to say uh, I've never seen a tutorial on that subject before so yeah so anyway thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video bye